If you're trying to complete the egg hunt program and it'll be the shell 24, then you've come to the right place. As in this video, I'll be breaking down how I unlocked every single one of them. And as you can see, I have the program completed. In total, this took me about three and a half hours. And a lot of that time was actually just trying to figure out what to do. So really not that long of a program. And you get some really nice rewards along the way, including packs and some sick players. Let's hop right in into our collections. Hidden egg number one right here. We are going to want to play moments for this. Now, if you've never accessed moments for the main menu, it can be a little tricky. So from the DD menu here, I'm just gonna go ahead and back out and quit. And then we're gonna scroll down past this first tab here with exhibition and classic and into the second one. We have our moments right there. We can click on that. We'll hop into other programs right there on the top and you'll see a handful of moments. Completing these is gonna get you that first egg. Now the second egg, start your egg hunt journey down here. This one is really easy as well. We just wanna back out and go into our showdowns is where we're gonna find this one. And we hop into showdown and we do the starter showdown. You can see this second mission here. So we have our draft, I've already completed it. Uh, you would do the first mission. You can load into this and instantly quit out. You don't have to beat it. Doesn't matter what you do. And you hop into right here. You can see the reward in the bottom right is this egg that you get. It's just the second mission in the starter showdown. And it's just get through the inning without giving up a run. Super easy, super simple, really quick one. Third egg, you'll have to be sneaky competitive to discover this egg. You are going to have to play ranked seasons for this one. And you just need to steal a base. You don't need the win. Don't need to play a certain amount of innings, anything. Just steal a base on ranked seasons and you will have that egg unlocked. Pretty straightforward on that one. Next egg, make sure one of these birds has more eggs in their own box score than yours. This one is play versus CPU. You don't have to shut them out. You just need to win and it can be on any difficulty. I beat the Orioles on rookies. Took me about 20 minutes to get through that. Got a couple runs, started bunning out, and that egg was waiting for me when I was done with that game. On to egg number five. Rumor has it the chicken man lays eggs. Yes, this is talking about Wade Boggs. No, you don't need to buy him. You're not doing anything with actually utilizing the card in your inventory if you already have them unlocked. And if you don't have them locked, don't go buy them. You have to do this in a battle royale. So you're going to hop into BR and Wade Boggs is one of the mission cards currently active in the BR program. So every single draft, you're guaranteed to have him as an option. You want to draft them and you just need to get on base. Whether you get walked, whether you get a hit, just need to get on base and you'll have that Wade Boggs. Chicken man lays eggs, egg number five done. That one... It take a little bit of time because that Wade Boggs is not the best. But just bat him lead off. Keep playing until you get it. Worst case, if you have to redraft a couple times and get a couple packs, may not be the worst thing. We'll talk about that here in a second. Well, and by a second, I mean right now. Because this voucher comes from getting our jelly beans, which we can find in packs. So far from what I've seen, they're about one in every two packs. And you need 15 of these, so about 30 packs. So if you get a couple packs from redrafting a BR, it's not the worst. We are getting some free packs here as well. We get... Uh, eight free packs right here from the program and the conquest map that we'll talk about a little bit more later does have some more free packs in it as well. I got almost all of mine without having to buy any packs. And realistically, if I was patient and waited a couple days, I'm sure I would have earned some packs. I could have just earned free repeatable packs in mini seasons as well. If you don't want to buy packs, I would definitely do that. Hop into mini seasons. Earn your free repeatable packs in the classic mini seasons and you'll get enough to get through this. Where you find that though, because if you can't be a little tricky, if you've never gone into your exchanges is from the collect tab, hop on over to exchanges and we want to exchange items and you'll be able to exchange them for that voucher. I've already done it, so it doesn't show up. It's there at the bottom. It does show up. You'll need 15. You'll just open this up, exchange items. Oh, I can't view it because it's already completed, but you'll see your jelly beans there that you can exchange and you'll just turn those into that voucher. Now, if you end up with some more, you can turn a 100 into a spring chickens pack. And again, they're popping up one every other pack. I got 22 right now. You're earning free packs in a mini seasons and earning these jelly beans. Maybe worth it to uh, work your way up to earning 100 of these and get a free spring chickens pack. That's some free stubs right there while you're also unlocking free packs and grinding and who knows what you pull for many of those. Continuing on in the program, we have don't trip during your egg hunt egg. You simply need to hit a triple. Any mode, any difficulty, any player, 
any stadium. I personally did it at Colorado, which is a pretty good stadium with any triples. If you have Polo Grounds unlocked, you can play at home and do that there. I would recommend just hopping into Rookie, play versus CPU, and playing the Rockies on the road so you bat in the top half of that first inning. You have your three ABs, you hit the triple, boom, you're done. You don't hit the triple, you can just restart at that point. Next one up, my favorite spring event is watching bunnies hop. Now this one, people were all over the place with what this could be, but 99.99999% confident in what this is. This is in the event and you need to hit two doubles. It could be across any amount of games, just hit two doubles. Doesn't need to be with the same player. Doesn't need to be in the same game. It's not walking. It's not bunning. It's not hitting a ground roll double. It's not hitting a certain amount of home runs or winning a certain amount of games. Just hit two doubles across any amount of event games with any players, and you'll have this unlocked. Again, there's some stadiums that are better than others for that. Places like Colorado with the big outfield, ball's going to drop in. A couple of minor league stadiums with massive walls as well. You could hit one off the walls out there if you really get a hold of one. Help you hit those doubles, but with only needing two, you should be able to run into those with relative ease. Now, egg hunt number nine is all about mini seasons. I believe you can do it in either classic or team affinity mini seasons. Personally, I did it in classic, so I would just do it in that one to be safe. But I've heard people who did say that they got it from Team Affinity. I just can't confirm that one. I can't confirm. I did it in classic. I completed it. You do have to play it on All-Star. You can see All-Star Egg Hunts are a classic. Also, I think it may be classic. It may just be where they let you do it in either one just to be safe and not cause confusion. But it does need to be on All-Star or higher. You can play on Hall of Fame Legend if you want. But you have to at least play on All-Star and win the mini seasons game to unlock this egg. Which, if you do those nine right there, you're already going to have the Christian Yelich, which is a really, really good card. But to get this last one, egg number 10, conquering this egg hunt requires you to explore the furthest point in Diamond Dynasty. That is going to be on the new Conquest map. This is what it looks like. It's just an egg. That very bottom stronghold that you can see right here that i'm highlighting is the orioles and you just need to go and beat them it's not on the usa map it's not on the team affinity map it's just on this map you could honestly start it up and beeline it all the way down straight to the orioles and capture them you capture them you're done doesn't need to be on any certain amount of turns anything like that it'll be a hidden reward discovered under their stronghold as well so you won't see it in your post game screen and if you just click through really fast you may miss it but it is a hidden reward that pops up so be sure to be on the lookout for that and there's also some packs in this map as well i got some solid amount of packs just by completing all these territories and i assume that there's some more packs under these four strongholds that i don't have done and by capturing everything you're getting another five packs and a thousand xp so again if you're needing those jelly beans you can earn those throughout this conquest as well so between the ones you get in the program the ones you get from conquest maybe you get a couple from br you're probably going to get pretty close to that 15 without having to spend any stubs also, one more thing that can help if you go into your inventory and then click on unlockables, you want to tab over once and you got to get into the vouchers. You can see all these vouchers here, but if you notice, they're all names. So this one right here, we can see on the right, the battle royale egg, uh, the conquest egg, the events egg, the exchange egg, moments egg, mini seasons egg, stats egg for getting the triple showdown egg ranked egg play versus cpu egg and so if you're just a little confused at which mode you're supposed to be doing everything in it basically tells you right here this one we can do in any mode so it just says stats every other one is saying you do this one in showdown you do this one in ranked play versus cpu many seasons moments exchange for that one events conquest and battle royale if you ever get confused that could be a good little way to make sure you're staying on track and being in the right mode for the right egg and right mission at the right time also shout out to the man who pulled the million sub voucher yes it has been pulled hopefully there will be another one and maybe it'll show up in one of y'all's accounts that is all we have for that program today try to keep it short sweet to the point so you can see all the missions i'll also have a comment down below in this video that's just a list of all the missions if you need to come back and reference it at any point if y'all have any questions feel free to hit me up there as well and until next time i'll catch y'all around